Adel El Faradi, right to Barrio with someone in just to assist. And they're just about all set there. $20 million Saudi Cup 2024. Rushba Tesoro didn't jump the best and also pushed forward early on is Saudi Crown as they race through the first 200 metres. And on the outside, also moving forward, is Power in Numbers in company with Carmel Road. Hoist the Gold is also racing in a handy position as they settle down. And the pace is being contested here by Saudi Crown, who has the early lead. National Treasure has moved forward to stalk them with Isolate also racing in a handy position. Hoist the Gold is prominent but not leading. Whiter Barrio races in fifth place. Then Power in Numbers, who's drifted back to midfield. Defunded is also there in company with Lemon Pop. And at this stage, Ushba Tesoro is an absolute mile behind. He's about five to six lengths behind in company with Scotland Yard, who's also struggling to keep up. So early on, it's the grey Saudi crowd who'll lead them towards the turn. Has the advantage narrowly from National Treasure in second. Isolate pushed up the fence with White Barrio getting a nice track in. Carmel Road is very wide. Also there is Crown Pride as they begin to make the turn. A defunded has made some ground. Parry numbers is going backwards. Hoist the gold has quite a lot to do from there. One that is making ground is Lemon Pop up the inside. So out in the lead, the grey Saudi crown will lead the turn for home. In second place, pushed along, National Treasure a length down. Derma Sotagake in the light blue is on the outside now of the pushed along Isolate. Carmel Road comes next. Several are flat here with defunded. Ushba Tesoro is making quite a lot of ground, but it's Saudi crown who has the advantage from National Treasure. Ushba Tesoro from a mile back continues to stay on. Also staying on strongly is Senor Buscador out in front. Saudi crown with 150 metres to last. Still has the lead, National Treasure, Ushba Tesoro, late on the scene and right down the outside, Senor Buscador, the lead is taken by Ushba Tesoro, but right on the line, Senor Buscador might have tipped him out, certainly the rider thinks so, Senor Buscador and Ushba Tesoro over the top of Saudi Crown and National Treasure, and those were clear from Derna Sotagake, Crown Pride was next. Ushba Tesoro may have led for a stride, but it's Senor Buscador's Saudi Cup for Todd Fincher and Juan Alvarado, and the, one of the rides has just been put up. Junior Alvarado has got there. Ushba Tesoro briefly had the prize in his grasp, but it looks as if in those final bounds, it has gone the way of Senor Buscador, the rider celebrating, and that is the call by a head. Senor Buscador has won the Saudi Cup. As Chantasora, who was a mile behind with Senor Buscador early, as the pace collapsed, Saudi Crown, no closer than third, National Treasure in fourth. Well, Todd is with me. I'll be honest, I can't hear much. My goodness, how do you feel? I'm about to cry. It's amazing. Amazing. That's this horse, right? That's what he does to you, the way he does it. Yeah, and he's never got the credit he's deserved, and he finally got to show up today, so I'm just proud for the horse. Did you believe the whole way coming into this week? No, because something always happens to him about every race, so uh, uh, he always runs good, he always runs hard, but he always has 10 or 11 horses to weave in and out of and pace and all that, so... Uh, we knew he was going to run good. We just had to hope for the right setup, and we got it. How big is this for you, Tom? This is awesome. Enjoy it. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Junior, what a, what a moment. Put that into words for us. Yes, I mean, just unbelievable. You just got to thank God to make me be here, give me the opportunity to be here healthy, and it's all to God and, you know, like the owners, the trainers, Thanks for the great opportunity. It's an unbelievable feeling. How much heart did that horse, sh horse show there today? It, it was unbelievable because, you know, the horse that finished second passed me by the 516 pole, and I thought he couldn't keep up with them. So I was like, well, maybe maybe a third or four would be good. You know, and then all of a sudden, you know, in the eight pole, you can feel it how he's going after the horse. I was like, come on, boy, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I mean, he just, like you say, he just all hard going down to the wire. There is so much emotion winning a race of this magnitude. What does it mean to you? I don't think right now I have the, the right words to really express it. You know, I'm just very, very happy. And like I said, there is no word really can express what I really feel inside right now. Well done. Thank you. We were just hoping to get the invitation in. Uh, Joe Peacock is with me. Joe, you and your dad, you, you bred a Saudi Cup winner. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the last horse we bred together. So it's pretty special. Um, you know, we've always been really proud of the horse. He had a lot of trouble early in his career, but Todd Fincher gets all the credit. He was real patient with his horse, worked on him, got him back to peak performance, 
We always knew he could put it together. We never thought he'd be the Saudi Cup, but uh, we'll damn sure take it. Uh, we're just, we're thrilled. We're so excited. How did you feel as he started his run? Okay. Listen, okay. I tell you what, I want you to go and enjoy it. Well done, Joe. All the best. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.